good morning students uh, today we are going to read a technique for solving uh, problems in uh, resistance and finding equivalent resistance so write down the theorem it's uh, called as the millman's theorem okay <coughs> now let us see uh, what this uh, theorem is all about now you please draw this circuit let this resistance be r1 this be r2 and this be r3 okay and uh, the, let the um, emf of this cell be e1 this is plus this is minus okay this is plus this is minus okay and let this be e3 for convenience i am taking it e3 uh, with the different uh, values you will see that how differently it is going on okay so what is that <coughs> actually we will consider here this one as one branch this one as second branch and this one as our third branch okay so now how the formula goes the voltage in each cell each branch actually is equal to e1 by r1 what is e1 the emf the voltage or the emf of the battery connected in the first branch by r1 the first branch resistance plus e2 by r2 plus e3 by r3 by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay so let us take as a small example on that uh, let us draw this simple circuit okay uh, let us draw this one i am showing you a two circuit okay let this be 1 ohm let this be 5 volt this be uh, again 1 ohm let this be again 1 ohm the three resistance I am taking is 1 ohm let this be 4 volt okay what would be the EMF between A and B C and T, E and F. Okay. So now what we are we going to do? So now how to calculate? Apply the Millman's theorem. Okay. What it will be? The total EMF, the voltage across each branch will be same. So this implies uh, V will be equal to 5 by 1 plus 0 by 1 because there is no uh, volt, uh, voltage across this one because we are not applying any other extra EMF any extra EMF will be recorded as E2 here in this formula so here as this is no voltage so then 4 by 1 by 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 this will be equal to 5 plus 4 by 3 is equal to 9 by 3 is equal to 3 volt so voltage across each branch will be 3 volt so if someone asks you then uh, how much voltage will be across this uh, this first resistance this re resistance how you will get this is 5 volt plus minus okay then the total should be in 3 volt let the voltage be x here so x plus 5 will be equal to 3 so this implies x will be equal to minus 2 volt so the voltage across the first resistance will be minus 2 volt basing on this theorem we can do one um, we can do one uh, problem that had come in iit j 2011 iit j 2011 the problem goes in paper 2 it had actually come uh, the problem goes something like this you have a resistance like here was given like this I remember
okay it was given as a uh, 6 volt it was given as 1 ohm it was given as 3 volt it was given as 2 ohm we were asked to find the vab okay so now straight away apply that theorem the voltage across this thing will be equal to this two side okay so this implies vab will be equal to 6 by 1 that is the formula as per the formula 6 by 1 plus 3 by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 how much this will come this will be equal to uh, this one will be 6 plus uh, 1.5 Divided by one plus zero point five, it will be coming somewhat around seven point five divided by uh, zero one point five. This will be equal to five volt. So five is the correct answer. Okay. Thank you.